Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me once again in the Life Through Journal. Do you know how God talks to you? I know a lot of times we as Christians, we know that we hear God and a lot of times we tend to put him in a box thinking that he can only talk to us in a certain way and not be open in all the different ways that God can actually talk to us. It took me a little while to, first of all, know God's voice because I had to specifically ask and pray for me to know his voice. It was one of the videos I made, I believe in 2018, titled Hearing Voices. I talked about how I learned God's voice. So it's one thing to know his voice. It's another thing to know the different type of ways that he communicates to you. For me, I know that God talks to me through dreams. He talks to me through my thoughts. He talks to me through people, normally through people when he's confirming something that he already told me that I'm still contemplating on. He normally uses people to confirm. And he also talks to me when I'm reading my Bible, when I'm meditating you know, on the Bible. I learn a lot about him and he talks to me through the Bible. So I'm aware of the four different types of ways that God talks to me. I'm pretty sure there are other ways that he can talk to me if, I'm, if I open up to it. But in these four different ways, they're linked towards the particular type of message he's trying to relate to me. It's important for us as Christians to know the different ways God talks to us and to know when God is talking to us because it is vital in obedience. You have to know when God is talking. To, first of all, you have to know that it's God talking to you. And you have to know when he's talking to you in order to know what actions to take. For instance, um, the different types of ways God talks to us in some message, some stories in the Bible. The first one was in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3 with Samuel and Eli. Samuel has never heard from God before, even though he was being trained to be a prophet. So he's been in the, in the presence of God. He's been knowing about God. He's been knowing God, but he didn't know God's voice. So God called him three different times. This was not in a dream. He was hearing God audibly from his ears. And the three different times he thought it was Eli talking to him because that's the one he, he was familiar with. He didn't know it was God's voice. Until Eli realized that it's probably God talking to him. So by the fourth time that Samuel got back and God, God called him, called out to him, he answered appropriately. And at that moment, God gave him the message that needed to be given. At that moment, he was attentive because he knew it was God talking to him. And from then forward, he knew how God one of the ways that God can talk to him. Another example will be Joseph. Father um, Joseph, husband to Mary, who is the mother of Christ, God spoke to him severally through dreams when they had to leave and run away, to run away from Herod, and, you know, and also confirming that, um, that, that it was Jesus Christ that Mary was carrying. It was through dreams. So Joseph, for Joseph to know it was God, there's a possibility he may have had previous occurrences to prove that God speaks to him through dreams. And him dreaming those dreams, he knew it was God and he had to obey the instructions that God gave him. So one of the other ways is through dreams. Another example could be Moses, you know, um, the burning bush when God was calling him and told him this is a holy ground before God gave him the message that he's going to save the Israelites. So the burning bush can represent, it's a symbol. It, so God can talk to us through signs. So these are just the very few ways. And I, it's very important for us to realize and recognize and acknowledge when God is talking to us and in different ways that he talks to us. Because as a Christian, if you don't know when God is talking to you, if you're not aware of the different ways God talks to you, is actually a disservice to us and in whatever purpose God has called us to do. Do you know how God talks to you? 
if you don't know, one of the ways you can, things you can do is simply ask. God said, ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be open. Seek and you shall find. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is out of reach. Ask God to make you aware of the different ways he talks to you so that you can be of great service in your relationship with God. Thank you so much for listening to me once again. Have a blessed day.